touch of charm and beauty and the good things of life as Southern California. From the beautifully designed Spanish-type station at Los Angeles, in the heart of the City of the Angels, the thrill of Southern California is in the air. In the years since the turn of the century, Los Angeles has grown from a sleepy pueblo to a vast, seething metropolitan city. Fine buildings, huge stores, busy citizens. A city which has grown faster than any other in America in the past decade and which sees a constant day-to-day -day influx of people from every part of the world. Reminiscent of the early, more languid days when Los Angeles dozed beneath a desert sun, the Los Angeles Mission. A proud monument to the development of Los Angeles is its splendid city hall, towering over its domain in classic lines of beauty. The Miracle Mile of Wilshire Boulevard is truly just that. In an unbelievably short period of time, this has built up to become one of Los Angeles' most modern and important shopping centers. The original Brown Derby, famed restaurant and rendezvous of motion picture stars. The rambling Ambassador Hotel, one of the world's great hostelries and a Los Angeles landmark of good living. The Ambassador Swimming Pool, a lavish, splendid, out-of-door natatorium where guests and local citizenry enjoy the year-round luxury of California weather. Top drawer tennis is the rule in Los Angeles, where many of the real greats of the game may be observed on the courts of the famous Los Angeles Tennis Club. And the crowds that gather to watch the net stars love every minute of it. Los Angeles is well equipped to see stars of every kind. Here, for example, at the Griffith Park Observatory is the finest in the way of equipment for astronomical study. And even for as deep a subject as astronomy, there are crowds of keenly interested visitors day and night. Unique and magnificent is Forest Lawn Cemetery, perhaps the outstanding institution of its kind in the entire world. Visitors from all over the world come to admire the hundreds of acres of beautifully landscaped scenery, miles of lovely walks, churches and chapels of rare peace and beauty. Here is true tranquility, a perfect haven of unchanging calm. One of the great sources of civic pride in lovely Pasadena is the world-famous Huntington Library. Here is gathered one of the richest stores of literary and art treasures to be found in America or the world. And the dignity and beauty of the buildings are in complete keeping with the rare works of art to be found within. Of course, no look at Southern California would be complete without a round of Hollywood. This is Hollywood Boulevard and the world-renowned Grauman's Chinese Theater. In the forecourt of this celebrated cinema house are the footprints of the outstanding stars of the screen. Here, the idols of millions have left mementos of their undying fame. Radio and television, too, are focal points of Hollywood life, and the great broadcasting systems are important additions to the entertainment business which contributes to the lifeblood of this community. At Sunset and Vine stands the Western Headquarters of the National Broadcasting Company, source of many favorite programs. Just down Sunset Boulevard is the Columbia Broadcasting System, outlet for thousands of hours of radio pleasure and television spectacles. This great network, along with NBC, ABC, and Mutual, draws thousands of enthusiastic radio and TV fans who come to see the stars and programs. Baseball occupies a prominent spot in the entertainment sports picture of Southern California. Both Hollywood and Los Angeles have teams that draw an ample quota of loyal rooters. Mecca for lovers of music and spectacles is Hollywood Bowl. Tremendous outdoor amphitheater where the outstanding orchestras and soloists of the world perform. 
With a capacity for some 12,000, this great bowl presents programs of every type for every taste. Probably the most widely known of the bowl presentations is the beautiful sunrise Easter service with its huge choir and beautiful symbolism of a holy day. One of the most interesting aspects of Hollywood is the motion picture industry. This vast empire is also a potent factor in the economic life of Southern California. Its studios employ thousands of workers, electricians, carpenters, painters, seamstresses, artists, artisans of every conceivable kind. The motion picture business is also high on the list of Southern California customers, buying each year large quantities of materials and services. It may be safely said that every line of business in the area benefits directly or indirectly from the picture industry. Two, the picture industry is a powerful influence in attracting tourists to Southern California. Each year, Southern California enjoys the presence of thousands of people from every part of the world, drawn by the magic fascination of the motion picture industry. You've heard of the famous Sunset Strip? Well, here it is with its variety of antique shops, offices of the agents of the movie greats, and of course, those night spots whose names are known throughout the world. A thriving industry in Southern California is the selling of maps of the movie star's home. Just pick your star and find his or her home. Then a pleasant way to look things over is to follow the method of these two tourists. A bicycle built for two provides a leisurely means of touring the shaded boulevards of Beverly Hills, where many a star hangs his hat at the end of a busy day at the studio. And it's easy to understand why so many hard-working cinema folk choose this delightful community to live in. It's quiet, beautiful, and offers privacy and seclusion. And as our tandem touring friends are discovering, the houses vary interestingly in architecture. It would be an oversight to roam around through beautiful Beverly Hills without stopping by the famous Beverly Hills Hotel. This famous hostelry has become a landmark, a haven for those who would come west to enjoy the California sunshine. At the end of Wilshire, on the bluff overlooking the blue of the Pacific, is the hospitable Miramar Hotel. Here, one retires to the sound of the ocean waves reaching out and then retreating over surf-smooth sand. Southern California is proud of its polo. Some of the greatest players in America have been drawn here by the ideal year-round climate and superb playing conditions. This field was established by the late Will Rogers, who did much to develop interest in the game in this part of the world. For the fortunate visitor to Southern California, a word of good advice. Bring along your golf clubs for Southern California boasts, and quite properly so, of some of the finest courses to be found anywhere in the world. Truly, this is the golfer's paradise. Among the great institutions of learning of which Southern California is justifiably proud is the University of California at Los Angeles. Here, some 18,000 students attend classes and enjoy the modern, beautiful campus. UCLA is a top-rated institution, and though its present site is less than a quarter of a century old, it is properly steeped in hallowed college tradition. In another part of Los Angeles is the University of Southern California, also a splendid school, and one firmly rooted in the hearts of Southern California. The big game, the Trojans and the Bruins, cross-town rivals, well representing the warrior spirit. For football, like most other sports, is an integral interest of outdoor-minded California, and the hard-fighting teams never lack for loyal followers. Just 20 miles off the Southern California coast is beautiful Catalina Island. Throughout the year, hundreds of visitors come to Catalina's shore. 
As the steamer glides to the dock, it won't be long before its human cargo is joining in the fun in the sun. For thrill seekers, sailboating for those who take their boating in breezy fashion. It is almost unnecessary to say that among the chief attractions of the Southern California picture is its many miles of beaches where you can be as athletic as you choose or just loll around and build up a beautiful tan. Barely two hours drive from warm sunny ocean beaches, California can offer snow-clad mountains to satisfy the most exacting lover of winter sports. If you're ski-minded, this is the end of your search for the finest lifts and slopes the sport can offer. At Riverside, the famous Mission Inn. Here, the warm hand of hospitality is extended to the visitor from far and near. A quiet retreat, steeped in the atmosphere of old California at its very finest. Among California crops, citrus occupies one of the king spots. From many groves, these golden oranges to be packed and shipped to every part of the country and the world. No one knows where they'll wind up, but you can bet they'll be both welcome and delicious. Truly a store of goodness and health. One of the big events of the year is the Orange Show at San Bernardino. This annual celebration of the citrus crop is one of the great fairs of the state and attracts thousands of visitors. Among them are famous folk like this black-garbed western gentleman on the big white horse. Yes, sir, it's Hoppy himself, here to gladden the hearts of his young admirers. Another outstanding Southern California attraction is the Los Angeles County Fair, held on the fairgrounds at Pomona. This is an attraction for all ages, and you can snooze when you choose. Like most important fairs, Los Angeles County's has a gay and gregarious fun zone, where everybody has a good time. And to make it easy on the visitors, this tour bus saves walking. But most folks seem to prefer to just wander here and there, picking their favorite diversion. Of course, the Ferris wheel rates high at any fair. And who's going to pass up the sideshow? This is Hollywood Park, one of the most beautiful racing plants in the land. Here, the outstanding racehorses of the world provide color and excitement for thousands of turf enthusiasts who follow the sport of kings. And you can be sure not many race courses are better equipped by man and nature to provide racing at its best than this. Here they come. And as always, the finish is a moment of breathtaking excitement if you have a winning ticket. Just as famous is magnificent Santa Anita Park, home of some of the world's richest persons and mecca for horse owners and racing fans. Some of the greatest races of all time have been run here one of turfdom's true beauty spots. Horses and jockeys get ready for post time, and tension mounts as they move into the starting gate. Now they're off. That's a sight to stir the pulse, and you may be sure that every spectator is pulling for his favorite mount. Pounding hooves, bright colors, a wonderful spectacle around the turn. Then into the stretch. They're driving hard now toward the finish line. This is the ultimate in thrills as horse and jockey extend themselves as one toward the goal of fame and fortune. Among the scenic charms of Southern California are its lovely mountain lakes. Here, Lake Arrowhead, where Southern California's youngsters enjoy every water sport. Throughout 
Southern California, along romantic El Camino Real, stand many beautiful old missions, tranquil and peaceful. Nostalgic reminders of California's early days when Father Junipero Serra and others like him came in pious faith to bring blessings to a newly opened land. These lovely old buildings, mantled as they are in the mists of yesterday, still are in harmony with modern California, with its friendliness, warmth, and charm. And the gentle music of the mission bell sings a welcome to the visitor. Mission San Juan Capistrano along the Santa Fe between Los Angeles and San Diego is one of the most famous of California missions as well as being renowned in song and story as the homing place for thousands of swallows who return at the same time each year. Long Beach is one of the jewels in the diadem of Southland City. Picturesque oceanfront, friendly people. The Port of Los Angeles. Here, worldwide shipping activity fed by closely integrated railroad service keeps the Long Beach, Los Angeles Harbor area teeming. Ships from faraway places, cargoes of every description. In the past brief quarter of a century, Southern California, aided mightily by the essential cooperation of the railroads, has undergone a truly awe-inspiring growth in its industrial life. In recent years, Southern California has become one of the top producers of automobile tires. Shipments are constantly dispatched to keep the wheels of America turning. This industry is only one of the many which have contributed to the amazing industrial development of this continually expanding part of our nation. Los Angeles Union Stockyard is an up-to-date plant equipped to handle the ever-increasing business of ever-expanding California packing and shipping. Oil, lifeblood of industry, is a potent factor in the economy of Southern California. From thousands of wells comes the vital fluid to be used by countless local consumers and shipped out to the far corners of the world. Chemicals, always in the forefront of any expanding industrial picture, have turned to Southern California for new factories amid ideal surroundings. Steel foundries springing up over the industrial Southern California landscape. The Kaiser plant at Fontana, California, 50 miles from Los Angeles, gives some idea of the magnitude of the growth in this field. It goes almost without saying that Southern California holds the foremost position in the realm of aircraft manufacture. Giant plants turn out planes of every type for every purpose geared to the constantly increasing demands of commerce, defense, and, if need be, offense. Travel the Santa Fe South from Los Angeles to a wondrous, picturesque portion of Southern California where industry vies with nature, recreation, and good living. Laguna Beach, resort town 60 miles south of Los Angeles. In addition to recreational facilities, Laguna is important in various crafts such as pottery. Artisans produce ware of myriad types and enduring beauty. The track at Del Mar, a racing fan's paradise where the turf meets the surf, where thoroughbreds vie for rich purses in brilliant track performance. A thrill of minute guaranteed. Then there's La Jolla, sometimes better known as La Jolla to the novice visitor. In the many years that La Jolla has been attracting those who would come to enjoy the warmth and quiet of comfortable Southern California, she has lost none of the charming atmosphere which is hers alone. San Diego, a proud and busy city, which has enjoyed phenomenal growth in the last decade. It is bustling with business, and holds a wealth of charm for the resident and visitor alike. Among its many attractions, San Diego boasts one of the greatest zoos in the country. Convenient buses carry spectators who inspect with delight the animals in replicas of their natural habitat. The giraffe, quaintly dignified. 
our old reliable friend, the elephant, never failing delight of children. And nature's clown, the show-off bear. During World War II, the aviation industry moved into San Diego with an impetus that has never slowed. It brought with it an influx of thousands of workers, greatly increased payrolls, and a marked acceleration of business of every kind. Sailors, to whom San Diego is a second home, are an integral part of the local scene. Marines as well from nearby Camp Pendleton are very much in impressive evidence. Across the bay from San Diego lies Coronado, easily reached by ferry. The trip isn't a long one and is really worthwhile, for a truly beautiful spa lies at the other end. This is the Coronado Hotel, a magnificent hostelry which has been a delightful part of Southern California life for many years. Its friendly, old-fashioned elegance is traditional. Its brand of warm hospitality unsurpassed. And within a stone's throw of San Diego lies another land, Mexico. Warm, typically Latin, and friendly to all who cross its border here at colorful Tijuana. This is an easy trip, too. You may cross here from country to country with no passport problems. And the land that lies beyond is truly enchanting. Tijuana is a colorful border town devoted to gaiety. Quaint shops and cafes line the streets. This one is aptly called the Mexican hat. Tourists come here in search of relaxation and color, and they find it. And most of them, like these folks, have their pictures taken astride Mr. Burrow a memento to show the folks at home. Palm Springs is the queen of desert resorts. The gala spirit takes complete charge each year when Circus Week rolls around. Palm Springs number one citizen, Charles Farrell, looks on with interest at the pom-pom girl. Well, is this Billy the Kid? No, Jerry the Colonna. An eminent scion of California, Leo Carrillo. Won't you come on to Palm Springs and join the fun? This young lady will be glad to move over and make room for you. Shining rails speed the traveler through this colorful panorama to New Year's Day in Pasadena. Thousands of rapt spectators view the incredibly lovely Tournament of Roses Parade. Communities of all California and beyond spend months preparing floats to dazzle the audience and compete for prizes. Beautiful girls add a final touch of beauty to the symbolic creation. Perhaps no other event so fully represents the beauty and spirit of Southern California. California horses are at their magnificent best, and the floats seem limitless in lavishness and ingenuity, every one approved by onlookers. And still they come, each one typifying the beauties and salient features of the community it so splendidly represents. Each one a personal greeting from Southern California, land of sunshine and happiness proudly and happily served by Santa Fe.